All right, so we're going to do a few adjustments, or we're going to do a few adjustments of the, uh, the roof fence. So we're going to go ahead and highlight our roof fence. That's going to be the measurement where the uh, roof fence is standing right now, 30 inches from our blade. So there's different ways that you can get the roof fence closer to you. By highlighting the roof fence, you can add in your number. So we're going to go one inch, then press start to activate the movement. Now you notice the roof fence will stop twice. One's going to be at six inches. That's going to be for the bubble protection. It's going to ask you to press start one more time. It's going to move to about two inches. That's going to be the thinner dust trap protection. And then you press and hold start to complete the movement. So that's one way to do it. So I'm going to go back. There we go. So it's green. It's ready. I'm going to go back to 30 inches. Press start. We're going to do one more time the same movement, but this time I'm going to let it go all the way to the blade without stopping. Back to one inch. So I'm going to press and hold start. That's going to take us right away to our one inch without stopping. The only thing is, is uh, if you don't stop it properly, or if you forget to lift your dust shroud, it's not going to stop. It's going to go through the dust shroud. So there's going to be always a caveat or danger. If you don't do it properly, you might hit the dust shroud. That's why there's that safety there. For example, if you have to recalibrate the roof fence because it's not reaching all the way to 0 0.08 of an inch, one way to do it, hold calibration for less than 10 seconds. That's going to take us to another window. That's going to be our calibration. In here, you're going to have all the information on your inputs and outputs. If you want to test, See if your braking brake is working. We're going to press one, activate output one. You're going to hear a little click. The brake is off now, and you can test it. Make sure the brake is deactivated and it's working. So if you have to manually move this to position, you can. So I'm going to loosen this up. I'm going to move this out of the way so it doesn't hit the blade. So to do procedure for calibration, you press start for three seconds. The roof fence will move all the way closer to you on, and it will travel all the way to the end to make sure there's no nothing in the way and that's going to recalibrate the fence to the factory pre-setting. There it is, so it reached the end. It's gonna give us a little message. Axis is calibrated. So now I can exit. Press one again, so I'm gonna hold start. We're gonna go back to our one inch. So it's green, it's ready to go. For example, if the rip fence is not in position due to a uh, different thickness of the blade, by pressing calibration once and holding it for a few seconds, you're going to have calibration mode. In here, you can input your real number that, that you uh, have after cutting. So if it's a difference, if, if it's a different number, you can put uh, 1.25. This window will turn green, let you know it's resetting or it's going to take the information. Press calibrate one more time. And that new number is going to be inserted. So the rip fan is going to be uh, calibrated or adjusted to offset itself from the blade. And Thomas, on this, for this one, for the width of the, or curve of the blade, should someone adjust this one first and then come back to this one to get the right dimension in? You can. And now those two are not, well, they're here, but they're not, they're not working together. So I see. You will not know. Uh, because our blade always gonna go against our plate. So the blade thickness always gonna go towards you. It will never change. The only time it will change if you add a uh, a set of uh, curving blades. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Let me go back here and put it back to one inch. Press calibrate again. 
So that's what one way to do is just to cut something, mic it, and input that, that number into uh, your rib fence. Let's see, now we're gonna, we're gonna go to our height of the blade. The blade, and the height of the blade uh, is, is adjusted or it's calibrated by lowering the blade to zero position. But in zero position, that blade should be right flush with the table. So you can take your material, if you notice, it's hitting it. What I can do is manually, I'm gonna lower it down by pressing manual up and down, or plus and minus. We're gonna go one, two, three. It's a very small adjustment. One more time. Still kind of hitting it. There we go. So now we are just under our material. So it's not hitting it, it's not hitting it, and not grabbing it. So now I'm gonna go calibrate. There's a calibration mode, that's gonna be our new zero. Calibrate again, and the blade is calibrated to our table. And one reason for calibration is gonna be if you want to utilize our menu, go to grooving concealed cuts and input a height of your blade or height of your grooving. So that's when the blade is height is very important if it's calibrated properly. Also your thickness of your, of your blade. So we're going to exit this right here, exit one more time. Next we have our tilt mechanism. In tilting you can put it any, any uh, number between 0 and 45. Press start, there's going to be a warning. There we go. Now it's going to ask, it's asking us to hold the start button because our rib fence is so close to our blade the machine wants you to have that option to hold it uh, so the operator can stop it in case something is too close. That's always going to happen if, if your rib fence is closer to, to your blade. So let me go over here, let me go to 15. Let's raise our blade to one inch. Now the machine is smart enough to utilize the tilt with the height. So if I go to 45 degrees, notice the height and our tilt is going to become red. Because the machine knows by tilting the blade, you're lowering it. So the blade will raise in the end to compensate for that tilt. So we still should be able to cut one inch with 45 degrees. Of course, you're going to have your stops. Our stop is going to give you offset here. So this little hand is going to be for you to stop one, two, or three, depending if you're using cross fence. In here, you should be able to add 0 0.012 of an inch to correct for the tilt mechanism. Let me go back to zero. Again, go make the tilt, the blade will lower, and then tilt back to zero. And you can calibrate with tilt, height, and rib fence. If you have a different number, if you're utilizing a, a part that you're putting against the fence, um, if you want to recalibrate or readjust your degree, uh, you can always hold calibration and then input your new dimension or your new 